The stackable perk system is easier to create than you may think. You may perceive this to be a huge array of complex mechanics that chain all the perks together, but you would be wrong. You see, the stackable perk system is only made up of three perks, Juggernaut, Speed Cola, and Stamina. Everything else can be retroactively added or removed without affecting the perk system. Those additional perks are called additive perks, which you can find full videos of them on my channel separately. But for now, we're gonna focus on the main three. What's up? I'm Granted Crace, and I will finally be covering the long awaited stackable perk system. Also, if you would like my perk models free of charge, join the Discord and follow the directions in my Igloo forum, and they're all yours. If you would like to check out the perk models or play any of my mechanics, check out this island map code. It's the map that I'm always in when I'm doing these videos. Without further ado, let's jump into this video. So to start off, go into your island settings. I need you to go to mode, go down to class settings. I need you to turn default class identifier to no class and revert to default class at player eliminated. And that's going to automatically revert you when you, when you die to the default class with no perks. Okay, so go over to galleries and go into your primitive shapes and grab a flat circle. You can scale it up and place it down just like that. You can do it on like grid snap four. So one, two, three, and four. So this is default, but right here, turn the first circle past it, turn that red, that's Juggernaug. The next one, turn this green, that's Speed Cola. The next one, turn this gold, that is Stamina. We're going to play a little paint game. A little combination game, right? Here, these are one perks. We can only have two perks in this in this next tier. So in the next tier, we're going to put, we're gonna give Juggernaut two of these, right? So it can be in the first and the second one. And we're going to add green, is going to be in the first combination, right? Not in the second one, we're gonna add that to the third combination. We're gonna grab yellow. So again, there's only two perks in this. We're gonna put it right here at the second combination and in the third combination. These are your combinations of the two perks. So when you buy two perks, you can either get either of these combinations. This is the last tier is all of them combined, but we have to make all of these combinations through mechanics. And that is the check system we're here to make today. Okay, so what I need you to do, you grab a team and inventory device, place this on the, the white circle, name this base survivor device, team name survivor, Team all on grant behavior, clear items. Start with pickaxe. You can choose. You can start with with or without it. I'm gonna say yes, just because. Max health. This is one that is customizable to how you wanna do it. I like to, to debuff the players fully. Lower all of their stats that they're used to in the Fortnite thing so they really feel like they're like lacking a little bit. They're missing things. Not too much. Health, 50. Shield percentage start, put zero. Max shields, 50 just in case you want to add a buildable shield later on, which we'll probably be doing in a uh, later video. Movement multiplier, put that to 1.0. Allow sprint, turn that on. The settings should pop up. You want to put show energy cost per second to 20. Sprint jump, turn that to 1.1. Sprint speed, 1.4. Max energy is 75. Energy charge amount, 25. Energy recharge delay, put four. Allow slide, turn on. Allow slide kick, turn off. Allow shoulder bash, turn off. Allow instant reload, turn off. Infinite uh, reserve ammo off. Infinite consumables off. Infinite build re building, res or building materials, turn that off. Eliminated players items, delete. Eliminated players resources, keep. Eliminated players game resources, keep. Fall damage, on. Gravity, very high. Jump fatigue, on. Player flight, turn off. Allow mantling. I, I might turn that to no, but if you have a map where, if you have things to climb on, I would turn that to yes. Allow vaulting off. Always show nameplates, turn that to uh, show for team. Nameplates, line of sight, turn that to always show. Show voice indicator, put team only. Show player health indicators, put that team only. Display health for all players, put no. Glider redeploy, turn off. Down but not out, turn that to classic. Drop reboot card, turn off. Limit nameplate distance, turn that to yes. Allow building, put no. Max building resource, put the max you can. Allow drop, put yes. Allow item pickup, put yes. Elimination score, zero. Assist score, put that to zero. Maximum equipment slots, you can choose whatever number you want. You can have all five slots. You 
could have two slots, like classic zombies. I enjoy three slots. I think that's a comfortable number for zombies. So that's probably the longest settings we've done in a device. Class selector, grab it. Make sure you place this down on the white circle that we put down. Name this no perk selector. Class to switch to, put no class. Restore health and shields on switch. Turn that to off. Clear items on switch, put that to class. Switch accent color to white just cause it's the base. Activation audio, turn that off. VFX effect on activation, turn that off. We're gonna need to copy these over and we're gonna need to fill these up and place these on top of all of the other ones. But before we do that, place the second one on the red one, delete the no perk part, it should just say selector. Grab it, place them down on all of the other ones. It should look like this, but we wanna make it end up looking like this. Let's go through the settings and customize all of the class selectors. So go to the red pad. We're going to name this health class one selector for class to switch to. Class one, turn this one red, just to color code. Moving to the second one, name this reload class two selector. Make sure we're in the modified options just to make it easier for you guys. Class to switch to is two. You have the option of changing the accent color to green. In the yellow, the yellow one, name this Stamina Class 3 Selector. Change to Class 3, accent color yellow if you would like to. We have Tier 1 completed. Now, in the Tier 2 perks, let's start at the very end with green and red. Go into that one, that Class Selector, and name this Health Plus Reload, or Health and Reload, or however you want to say it, Class 4 Selector. Change this to Class 4. Next. The yellow and red, change this to health plus stamina, class five selector. Change this to class five. Next, the last combination at the second tier. Name this reload plus stamina, class six selector. And then change it to class six. The final tier, which is three, which is all three of the stackable perks. We have one to put all perks, class seven selector. Class seven, switch to and you're all good. Go into your content drawer and pull out a class designer. So put it on right here. Go inside of the class designer. We're not naming these class designers. The class identifier, we're gonna put one. Max health, you can pick whatever your health level is gonna be. For me, I like to have 150. Turn on allow health recharge, turn that back on again. Health recharge amount, I put one second. I think Juggernaug in like World at War to Black Ops 3 worked like that. Allow sprint, turn that on. Allow sliding, make sure you just turn that on. Pull out a fresh one, place it down. Class identifier, make sure this is class two. Allow health recharge, put on, but don't change and modify any options. Allow sprint, turn on, but don't change any other options. Now, I'm gonna change up how speed color works because it's important to have this setting. In the song, it goes like, So, with that being said, we're going to increase the energy of speed cola. So you're not just changing this for the the reload, like the instant reload, we're also changing this for the energy. So this is a viable perk and it's worth the 3,000, I'm guessing you're gonna charge for it. Max energy, we're gonna bring that up to 100. Energy charge amount, put 75. So it's gonna go charge back pretty quick. Energy recharge delay, two seconds. We're gonna turn on slide, instant reload, turn that on. Place down another fresh one, switch this to class three. Turn allow health recharge on. Movement multiplier, turn that to 1.2 probably is a good amount. Allow sprint, turn that on. Now we're gonna actually go through those sprint settings. Show, energy cost. We're going to bring the energy cost for sprinting down to 15. Sprint jump multiplier to 1.2. Sprint speed multiplier, we're gonna turn that to 1.5. Allow slide, turn that on. Allow slide kick, turn that on. Jump fatigue, make sure you turn jump fatigue off. Right now, in the current part of the video, you should have only the first three done. Go to the green class designer, grab it, and place it down in the red and green combination. Go into class designer four, and I want you to move this over to class identifier four. Max health, we're going to put 150, or whatever you just, you decided for your juggernaut. Allow health recharge, turn on. Health recharge delay, one second. Health recharge amount, three seconds. For the fifth combination, so red and yellow, grab the yellow class designer and place it down right on this combination. Change the class identifier to class five. Max health, 150. Allow health recharge, turn on. Health recharge delay, one second. Health recharge amount, 
three, go over to the yellow one, grab class designer three, place it at the yellow and green combination. This should turn into class designer six. Make sure you turn the class identifier to six. Energy max is 100. Energy recharge amount is 75. Energy recharge delay is two. Instant reload, turn that on. So on level three, to make it simple, grab class designer six, and we're going to put this on the final combinations. Place that down, and then change this from class identifier six to class identifier seven. Max health, the amount that you wanted, so either your 200, your whatever you have, or 150, which is what I have. Allow health recharge on. Health recharge delay, one. Health recharge amount, three seconds. That should be the full combination of everything. All of the classes are ready. All we need now is the mechanics to get to them. Go into your content drawer, items, and at the very bottom, you should see iodized material, you should see fine grain material, and grab rough material. In the red one, drop one red 50 pot. While we're on red, anything that has red, drop a red pot in it, just one. Drop one in here, and drop one in here. Anything that's green, drop a green slurp juice. There's one in here. There's one over here. And there's obviously one in the front. In the yellow, we're going to go ahead and drop one yellow in each of these. There's one yellow behind it. There's one yellow right here. This is just for a visual so you will see when we pick up, when we grab the perk, you'll know we have the right combination. And one yellow right here. In many previous videos, we already set up a message. You probably have this if you already watched my quick revive and my double tap video. You should have this that says already owned message. Bring that over here and you should already have the needs point message. Okay, so as you see, we added a, a little bit of things. Let's go over them so then yours can look like this. I don't know if you have perk models or, or the perk machines. If you would like them, I am giving them away free of charge as long as you go into my Discord. You follow the directions within my Discord and I you can have those. Or if you would like to just model them yourself and you just need the example to look at them. Uh, the map code is there at the top of the screen. For anybody who wants to go in there, you can play these mechanics. You can look at the content drawer, conditional button, grab it. Just place it by, like, nearby just for now. Name this display health button. Activating team, any, can be used by all players. Reset delay, put one second. Uh, direct color, put red, orange. Direction text, already own this perk. Missing item text is going to be buy, then whatever the name of your health perk is, and then the price that you want that perk to be. Consume key item, turn off. Visible during game, put no. Interaction radius, you wanna put uh, 0 0.5 so grab this and copy it over into your speed cola place that down and name this display Reload button the direct color should be apple green your missing item text Put by whatever your speed cola name is you know, your speed cola perk name is and then for the price that you want Move this over one more time Name this display stamina button change the red color to gold the missing item text Change this to buy whatever your stamina perk name is. You can put whatever price you want and whatever name you want. Go back into your inventory and drop one gold drink in the stamina one. Drop one green bottle in your speed cola. And drop one red item in your red perk. Go to your hot bar and grab a another conditional button and place it down behind the row we just did. These are going to be your, your price conditional buttons. Name this health price activating team any can be used by all players you can do direct color to red assuming key items is on this is the one that takes the actual items i guess before we do that we can move these over name this reload price change it to apple green grab it move this one over name it stamina price direct color is gold go into your content drawer and grab a lot of gold a lot of it and your stamina price conditional button drop 2000 gold in your stamina Drop 3,000 in your reload price. In your health price, make sure you drop 2,500. 
go to your content drawer, grab a trigger device. Okay, place that right in front of the red class. Name this health per check. No class to class one. Activating team, any. Activating class, it has to be no class. Now here, copy it over and move it here. Place that down and name this reload per check. No class to class two. Now copy that over, place it down in front of stamina. Name this stamina per check, no class to class three. Okay, this is, is gonna be mechanics. In the display health button, on activated, send event two. Already owned message, we're going to show. On not enough items, send event two. Health price activated. Over to the health price. So on events, activated, send event to purchase audio. That one is from a couple videos back. But if you have it, if you know how to do it, it's just audio sound that has the cha-ching sound in it. You wanna play that, only put this in because this is the only one that you're gonna have, right? Health check, no class to class one. You wanna trigger that. Please don't worry about these. We're gonna, it's gonna automatically copy into it when we get to it. On not enough, send event two. Need points message, we're going to show. We're gonna do the same thing that we just set up for that, but for speed cola. Go over to events, on activated send event two, already owned message we're gonna show, and then on not enough items, send event two, reload price activate. Move over to the reload price. In the events, on activated, purchase sound, we're gonna play. I wanted you to type in reload per check, no class to class two and we're going to trigger that. You shouldn't have any of these yet. On not enough, send event to need points message. We're going to show. Now move over to your display stamina button and on activated send event to already own message, we're going to show. Not enough, send event to stamina price, activate. Let's go over to stamina price. On activated, send event to player audio, we're gonna play. You should have stamina per check, no class to class three, and we're going to trigger. Again, you won't have this one or you won't have these two. On not enough, send event two, need points message, show. So now we have those set up. Now we need to make sure that these go to the correct combinations so that you won't get any wrong perks when you, when you buy from any of those. We're going to place these near the combination that goes with it. The health perk, we have, we're gonna copy that and we're gonna put these next to all of the red discs. So if it has a red disc, place one next to it, place it next to it, and then place it next to it over here. From reload, we're going to put it next to all of the greens. So those are the two combinations it takes to buy green. We're gonna move over here, we're gonna put that, and then we're going to place this over here. If they have a combination over here, just one. Go over to yellow, put these near all of the yellow discs. So there's a yellow disc here. So that makes those two combinations are complete. And it makes these two combinations complete. And the final combination for the all the perks completed. On tier one, you have one triggers, or you have you should have one trigger in each of these. On tier two, you should have two triggers. These are two combinations you can have to get that perk. On tier three, this is all of the perks. You have all the combinations to get these. Okay, so stick with me. Drink some water, take a deep breath. As health perk check, no class to class one. On triggered, send event two, health class one, selector. And we're going to change player's class. Speed cola, on trigger, send event two, reload, class two, selector, change player to class. The stamina trigger, on triggered, send event two, stamina class three, selector, change, player to class. Health perk check. We need to rename this to class two to class four. Go to modified options and change this from, your activating team should be none to make this class two. Go over to events and we're going on triggered send event two. Health plus reload class four selector. Change player to class. Now the second trigger over here. Modified options, class one, Go over to events, on triggered, send event two, health plus reload, class four selector. We're going to change players to class. I'm hoping you guys get this. In front of class five, you should see two triggers. 
but in the health perk check, it should be class three to class five. In your modified options, activating class should be class three. On triggered, send event two, class five, selector. We're going to change player to class. Now, you should see stamina per check. We're going to change stamina per check from class one to class five. Modified options, activating class. This is class one, on triggered, send event two. Class five selector, change player to class. In front of this combination, the reload per check. Change this part to class three to class six. Modified options, activating class should be class three. On triggered, send event to class six selector. Change player to class. Stamina per check. Rename this part of it to class two to class six. Modified options, activating class should be class two. On triggered, send event to class six selector and then change player to class. Now, in front of the fully done combinations, you should see health perk check, class six to class seven. Modified options, activating class is class six. On triggered, send event two, class seven selector, change player to class. The reload perk check, rename this part, class five to class seven. Modified options, change this to class five. On triggered, send event two, class seven selector change player to class and then go into your stamina per check change this part to class four to class seven modified options activating class make sure that is four one triggered send event to class seven selector change player to class in your content drawer grab a item remover place it down name this perk remover amount of device put percentage 100 percent apply to player and then play audio, turn off. Remove when receiving from. Add this to all of the player, um, so the, the respawn pads. Player spawner, unspawn. In your inventory, we should have all of the perks. So every single perk you have in your game, make sure you drop one of these in here. Doesn't matter what the perk is, just drop it in. Okay, let's go in here and let's check it out. It's going to check if you have the resource. If you don't have the resource, it's going to allow you to buy it. So right now we're missing the resource, so it's showing this. Missing the resource is going to go over to checking the price. If you have enough, it's going to let you have it. And it's going to check all of the the health uh, perk checks that we set up. So all the triggers that have the health perk checks. It's going to check all of those combinations for you and seeing which one you're at. It's only going to go off for that one because we can only activate that one. So. Now that we have red, you should see that it's gonna give you that little resource. They activated that for us. So now the cool part is where when you activate the blue or the, any other of the combination. So say if we have green, we already have red. It's not gonna activate this one in front of us. It's gonna activate the two perks that we bought. So red and green. When we buy it, no matter if I bought red and then green or green and then red, it's going to take me to class four by green. Go over to the last combination, it should go to the way back, it should give us the last combination. There we go. Now, I know you guys are wondering, like, okay, well, additive perks, how does that work? You just combine them, like, you just add them. They don't, they're not, they don't need to be within this system because this is actually the complex system. Additive perks, so double tap, is just automatically added. This doesn't have anything to do with that system. Quick revive, find your quick revive switch. One turn off, we have double tap remover. So what I want you to add on here is no class. No class selector, change class. Okay, so in the last couple videos, we set up the additive perks of double tap and uh, quick revive. So we can be able to buy juggernaut, speed cola, Stamina. We set up double tap in another video. And we have quicker vibe in the last video. This makes you stronger, faster, better. <laughs> Any further perks that we do add is going to be able to just get added to the system easily. Whew. Imagine how much longer that video would have been with four combinations. Jeez. We could probably do all the combinations of every perk if we wanted to put them in like classes, which would be insane.
anyways and that is it for today's video if you enjoyed this video make sure you like subscribe actually there's no there's no if you enjoy this video you have to like you have to subscribe i don't care what it, what you're doing I, I, I don't even want to hold you guys for any second longer thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video peace